My name is Anastasia Probilski, and I am the co-chair of the Kitchen Table Patriots. And my name is Anna Puig, and I'm the co-chair of the Kitchen Table Patriots. The big mission is to restore the Republic and uh, restore our country back to the founding principles that seem to have, that's what motivated, I think, this movement in general. Just really concentrating on the fiscal responsibility issue and not concentrating in all, at all on the social issues. That's of no importance to us. That does not bring us together. What brings us together is the spending out of control that the government has been doing with our money. Mission is to expose to the American people what is going on in our country. Yeah, and you know what we hear the most, the three things that we hear the most, people are frustrated with the state of the economy, they're frustrated with the lack of transparency that the government has, and they're frustrated that we have no national security and no plan for national security. So those are the three big issues that we hear on a daily basis, the feed coming through in our website. Contacted by American Majority Action to set up a grassroots headquarters to get out the vote with the most up-to-date equipment and the most up-to-date walking lists. We are going to have iPhones, walking list iPhones, phones that you don't need to dial, data computers throughout this building, it's, it's two stories, and basically what we're going to be able to do is provide people a home who might not feel comfortable stepping into the GOP headquarters or into a campaign. And so that is it in a nutshell. Right. And, and the bottom line is, I'll just add to that, is that it's state-of-the-art equipment. I don't think there's many people out there with the same kind of equipment that we have. So in essence, it's not going to be a survey-based database that we're going to be creating. This is going to be from the ground up. So, you know, we're going to be able to hit a lot more people than if we were to do a survey-based database. And the beauty of it is that at the end of the day, we get to keep all the information, we get to strengthen our group, we get to grow our group and think beyond the elections because Anastasia and I truly believe that elections is just a piece of the puzzle going forward. Yes, we need to elect the right people to power. Right. However, we also need to start looking at the educational piece we need to start looking at what's going on in our schools so that we can create we can create voters who are going to vote properly once they are at a voting age. So, you know, so this is going to be great. This is going to open the door for us to be able to attract a lot more people to our organization and we're going to have a stronger base throughout Pennsylvania. We will win. I think with our help in the grassroots, we're going to push him over the edge in the fall. And I think the same holds true for Mike Fitzpatrick. I think, I, I, I don't necessarily believe that the GOP realizes this, but it's going to take the grassroots getting involved for these candidates to win the election because the left has a lot of money and the left has a lot of manpower. And it's going to take all the manpower they can get. And unfortunately, right now, there's a lot of people who feel disenfranchised with the establishment who would never walk into that brick building down the street, the GOP headquarters, but who will gladly come in here and help us. And to add to that, I think that what we have this election cycle is the passion of the people. The people have woken up. And so what we can do on a, on a small budget is ten times what the left needs on, with their budget because of the passion that we have. A site that is pretty primitive. However, every day we get new emails. And it's, it might, I, you never know what gonna, it's going to take to wake up that person. It could be another bill that uh, Obama and, and the Congress passed, but all of a sudden you get an email like, I can't take it anymore, I want to get involved. So if we started this a year and a half ago, you know, when we heard Rick Santelli, we've been going at it for a year and a half, but there's still people waking up in this country. And those are the people that we are capturing. And, and I will add to that, I think at first this was a movement that was mainly of you know, conservatives that have been conservatives all their lives and Republicans, but it's completely changed. We have a lot of independents in our group. We have a lot of Democrats coming to us. We did a TV interview a few months ago on MSNBC, and after that, we had such a great inflow of emails from people from all walks of life telling us, you two are making sense. I want to find out more, more about what you're doing. I want to follow this because I'm fed up with the government spending my money. Kate Zernick actually is did a, is releasing a book today called Boiling Mad, and she's
covering the Tea Party, and there's a chapter in there about the Kitchen Table Patriots, talking about these issues. And basically, I'm not sure how the book is going to turn out, but that's the book that the that you know the left readers are going to buy. They're not going to buy the Dick Army book. So I don't know if it's a fair representation of the movement. I, I believe that Kate uh, Zernick will, will have do it, you know, do it just reporting, and the left will buy that book, which is another way for us to reach them. And it was the same philosophy that we had when we decided to do the MSNBC interview. We were highly criticized by a lot of other groups. You know, why are you going to step into that territory? But it's going to take stop preaching to the choir and stepping into the other side to gain our country back. So, and we're ready. Initially, I think it was mainly Bucks County people because we started out with a tea party at Washington Crossing Park, April of 2008. So it was a very local thing. But because we've done so much work and we've been able to expose the kitchen table patriots to other groups that are national based and we've been able to speak mm -hmm. at different events throughout the United States, we're now getting feed from people from all over the country. Even though we're tackling local issues and we're mainly tackling Pennsylvania, that doesn't stop us from educating Americans in general and being able to speak, you know, to people in other states as well. So, so I think we've grown quite a bit. Absolutely. And what I'd like to add is politics is local and we want to, you know, we need to start looking at our school boards. We need to look at our state reps, our state senators. You know, Harrisburg has a huge problem. And I think now that we have all these people waking up they're not just, they're paying attention to the local issues as well, which to me is just as important. We're, we've run people for, for committee to get them involved in the GOP. I'm a committee woman, so I'm part of the GOP now. I'm a committee woman. She too. ran for committee. So we've, we ran a bunch of people at the last election. So we will then have influence on the direction of the GOP. Long term. First, we saw a lot of conservatives in the very beginning. It was Republicans, it was conservatives. Now, we're seeing a huge inflow of independents and Democrats. So, a lot more than we're seeing just Republicans. So, I, I think we're definitely in the, in the crossover state. You know, people are fed up. If you're a small business owner and you're a Democrat, you're fed up with the system. Your, your business is suffering. You're about to go out of business. So, people want to see change. They want to see the proper kind of change this time around. I think. Congress is doing our recruiting for us. Mm -hmm. I really do. And when I say that people will, will tell me something, I'm like, I already knew that. They're just discovering us for the first time. Right. Excited. And we're here to stay. We're, we're not going away. Stay. We're not going away. This is just the beginning. And like I said, election is just a piece of the puzzle. Our next subject that we're going to tackle, hopefully to, towards December, January, is going to be school choice education, getting into those school boards, and you know, giving parents a voice so that our children are not going to be indoctrinated anymore.